In this video, I'm going to show you the Gator Auto Skim. This connects to your suction side automatic cleaner. So while the suction side cleaner is working on the bottom and the walls of the pool, the Gator will be picking up surface debris. So included in the box is the Gator itself, the instructions, a hose connector, and also included is this flow gauge. Just hit the suction of the Gator. And if your suction side cleaner is connected to your skimmer, you replace your regulator valve with this hose connector. Inside the Gator unit itself is a flow regulator. That's why you would replace the one at the skimmer. For the gator to work properly, we're going to adjust the suction here. An A reading means that it has excellent suction, and a D reading means that it has poor suction and may not work properly. So you would simply remove your skimmer regulator valve and replace it with this hose connector. And make sure your pull's off. Go ahead and remove the skimmer adapter from your skimmer. You want to take the hose connector that came with the gator, stick it into the cone and reinsert it into the skimmer. Connect your cleaner hose. And if your cleaner is connected to your pool through a side port vacuum port, go ahead and adjust the suction until you get an A or a B reading with the flow gauge. And for a side port vacuum port installation, you're gonna need a four inch female to female hose section, or you can simply just cut the male end off of one of the hoses and connect it to the gator. Okay, go ahead and turn the pool on. See the reading at this particular one is getting an A, so it's got really good suction here. Okay, after checking the flow, now you want to assemble the floats on the side of the gator. If you're getting an A or B reading, you want to assemble it with these spacers attached. If you're getting a C reading, you want to assemble it without this spacer. So since this pool is getting an A reading, I'm going to go ahead and install it with the spacers attached to the floats. Then you would just simply turn the gator over, put these nuts on. And you would do the same thing on the other side. Also, if you notice that the pool cleaner is moving too fast in your pool, you can adjust the tension of the regulator valve inside the gator itself. And you can simply loosen the screw here. If you want to increase the speed of the gator and lower the speed of the cleaner, go ahead and push it down to the low level. Then you can pull the tension plate. If you want to increase the speed of the cleaner, go ahead and pull it to the high level. But in most cases, you should be fine with it set at medium. It's also very important to install the gator in the right direction. You see inside the gator, there's a flow indicator with an arrow. You want to make sure the arrow is pointing towards your skimmer or towards your side port, vacuum port of your pool. And for best operation, go ahead and put the gator at the second or third cleaner hose from the head of the cleaner. If everything is adjusted correctly, the gator will pull in the surface debris. So by replacing your automatic cleaner's regulator valve with the hose connector, this will allow all the debris that the gator picks up to go into your inline canister and not into your pool's pump basket. So as the cleaner is moving on the bottom of the pool, you can see that the gator is pulling in the surface debris. And that's a quick look at the Gator Auto Skim for your suction side automatic pool cleaner.